Patricia Castillo and her husband are struggling to pay for their home, now worth a fraction of what they bought it for seven years ago. I I feel like we were kind of ripped off in a way. If they if they probably know that we couldn't afford it, they should have told us. In Richmond, as in other hard hit communities across the country, more than half of homeowners owe more in their mortgages than what their homes are worth. That's led to a wave of foreclosures that have hurt home values and left neighborhoods with increased blight and crime. Wall Street banks really got us into this crisis with their reckless and greedy、um, lending practices, and、uh, it's really had a devastating impact on Richmond's neighborhoods. City leaders are now pushing a controversial plan to help underwater homeowners. They want to use the power of eminent domain to seize mortgages from banks and lower the amount owners owe on their homes. It's a fix that we have to step in to provide, because otherwise the city of Richmond and cities like Richmond will continue to see the impact of the housing crisis. But banks and realtors are aggressively fighting the plan, which they say amounts to stealing. And the consequences would be an increased cost in terms of mortgage financing, and also. A devaluation of properties within the city of Richmond. I believe it will cause the value of properties to decline. But Castillo believes the rescue plan is fair. The banks get get bailed out. How come the homeowners don't get bailed out? A sentiment that many struggling homeowners share. Terry Che, Associated Press, Richmond, California.